Hi, I'm Elisa, and this is Flow Living TV, where we discuss all things hormonal and how you can use food to help your hormones work better for you. So I have a great question about the birth control pill. What is the best way to smoothly transition off of birth control pills? After stopping birth control pills after 15 years, I've got abnormal hair growth on my face, body, painful breakouts, and inconsistent periods. I've gone on a whole foods diet, eliminated dairy and caffeine, and I'm not sure what else I can do besides checking my hormones and taking hormone therapies. So, really important question. We get this question all the time at Flow Living. I'm on the pill or I'm going off the pill and it's, I'm having symptoms, what do I do? If you are someone who is just off the pill and you've worked with your doctor to come off birth control for various reasons and you're having a recurrence of symptoms, symptoms that you haven't seen for as long as you've been on the pill, chances are good that you were using the pill to mask some of those symptoms of a hormonal imbalance from five or ten years ago depending on when you started. And whatever hormonal imbalance you had five or ten years ago has kind of been in a state of suspended animation for all this time that you've been taking the pill. So just keep in mind that you do need to invest a little bit of time to get your body re-synchronized in terms of its own hormonal production. So of course I would encourage you to take on the Flow Living Protocol and, and start learning how to use food to improve your, the, the entire function of your endocrine system, to help detoxify from that medication, and of course to start living in cyclical harmony with your menstrual cycle. This will all help eliminate symptoms. I do, however, want to speak to those women who are on the pill, who have been maybe doing the program or thinking about, you know, they're learning, they're reading the book, Woman Code, and they're thinking they might want to go off of the pill and see what's happening. I want you to think about this in one particular way. Instead of finding yourself going cold turkey off the pill, which you should never do without the express consent of your doctor and working in partnership with your physician, um, instead of going cold turkey and falling off the cliff back into all of these gnarly symptoms of acne and bloating and wonky periods, I would much rather see you take on the food work six months before you think of getting off of the pill. And let your doctor know that you're changing your diet, you're going to be cleaning up your food and getting rid of all those endocrine disruptors and working on your liver detoxification, getting those estrogen levels down, and even starting to eat in cyclical harmony with those four different phases of your cycle. This way, when you do work with your doctor to come off of birth control, you're in a much better position. Your body will be much healthier and have had six months of a whole different diet that supports healthy cyclical function versus coming off and just sort of relapsing back into symptoms you once had. So I hope this helps answer some of the question about what do I do if I've gone off the pill and the symptoms are recurring or if I'm thinking about going off the pill. I want you to do that safely and not have to have these symptoms because it's not normal to feel bad at any time of the month. I'd love to hear what you think about this video. Tell me your thoughts by writing in the comments below. And if you have a question about the pill or any of your symptoms related to your cycle, email us at info at flowliving.com and we'll get right to your ovaries. Every woman deserves to feel great all month long and I want you to experience a new normal for your health.